folks, today I'm bringing you along for peaches. I bought two cases of peaches from the peach truck. Now, if you don't know what the peach truck is, the best way to explain it is some Georgia far peach farmers load up a big semi, and actually there's multiple semis from what I understand, and they go on a route and they stop at various parking lots or businesses that have agreed to it ahead of time. There's preset times and people go and you can buy peaches by the case. Pretty great deal. They're, I mean, they're fresh peaches straight from the farm. Um, this time around, they are Freestone. Um, the last time I had clean peaches, which let me tell you, if you've ever dealt with clean peaches, not fun to get off the pit. This time, they're Freestones. Uh, I paid $42 for a 25 pound box. I bought two boxes. Um, so today, I'm gonna show you how I skin them and cut them up and get them ready to use in other things. So, I'm gonna get everything set up. I'll bring you folks back and show you what, you, what we're doing. Okay, folks, we're back and I got everything set up here. Now, this is just one way to do this. There's many different opinions on how to do this. You could peel the peaches with a peeler or a paring knife. Um, some people freeze them and then put them in the hot water and they say that slips it off. This is the way I learned and this is the way I do mine, so I just thought I'd bring you along for this. So, what I got here is a fresh peach. And you can see there's a little stem end here and then the, the bottom end. I like to cut mine on the bottom and all I'm doing is putting, with a sharp knife, a little X. Just barely piercing the skin. Okay, and then I take my little spider or strainer and I'm going to dip this down into the water. We're going to let this go for about 30 seconds. Because you don't want to cook the peach. You just want to loosen the skin. Okay, so get that in there. And I can see that the, the split has started to open, so I know it's almost ready. Okay, so then I'm going to scoop it out. And I'm going to plunge it into ice cold water. Alright. And then we should be able to, without too much hassle, just peel the skins off just like that. See how easy they come off? Now, you can, as you're doing this, you'll start to develop a sense for what the best amount of time is in there. If I left this another five seconds, it might have gone easier, or it could have been more difficult. So, you kind of get a, a sense, once you've done a few of them, what the best time frame is. And then you also want to control your water, um, you know, you want to keep it at a boil, but not like, you know, boiling over. So this one, you can see, has the, the crease in it, so you can actually cut around where that crease is. This is where you gotta be careful because peaches tend to be a little slippery. So you cut around and you should be able to split your peach in half like that. And then you can get your pit out. And then you can slice this into slices. Now, the other option is, let me uh, wash my hands here real quick. I'm going to show you one more option. Okay. So I'm going to do another peach. I'm going to take and do the same thing here. I'm going to just score the bottom. Okay. I'm going to drop this in here. And then I am going to actually slide this over here. I'm going to lower you folks down a little so you can see my cutting board okay and you'll see this thing this is designed specifically for peaches you can see it's got kind of an oval shape for the pit and then 
it's designed to cut the wedges for you. So, my peach is probably ready here. Get this out of here. Into the cold water. Now you want to keep your water cold, so you're going to want to, like, add ice to it as you're going along so that you continue to keep the bowl nice and cold. Alright, so I'm going to peel this one real quick. And you can see, I mean, it's just, it's super easy, folks. Like, once they are shocked like that, those skins just come right off. Now, once you get the skins off, set your peach down. I'm going to make sure you guys can see this. In the light. Yeah, okay. Get your peach centered, and you simply push this thing down, just like that. And you have perfect peach slices. Then you have this core. Now, a lot of people say, oh, there's so much fruit left down there, and they're right. So what I do is I keep all my cores separate, and I put them in a bag, and I put them in the freezer until I get around to dealing with them. Um, sometimes I'll do it the same day, but mostly this is going to take enough time. But I'll save these, and then later on what I'll do is I'll defrost these, and I'll pull the rest of the flesh off of the pits, and I'll use that to make a batch of peach jam. And it is phenomenal. Um, so, that is how I end up with perfect peach slices. You see those there? Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of my peaches peeled and sliced, and then I will bring you back and show you what I end up with. Okay folks, welcome back. So, we, we, by we, I mean me and my amazing husband Josh, just finished peeling, slicing, and preparing the peaches for the future. So, what we got here is three one-gallon Ziploc bags of the cores. Um, so, like I said, there's a lot of pulp left on there, so we will use that to make jam in the future. These are probably going to go in the freezer for right now because it's not something that needs to, to be handled as delicately. So these will go in the freezer. What I have here is two of the 59 cup Tupperware bowls. Um, I've had people ask me about these. I got these uh, from Angie at Angie's Pantry. She's my Tupperware lady. I'll try and remember to put her link here and down below. Um, so if you're interested in Tupperware, she's amazing and can take care of you and get you anything that you need. These bowls, when you're canning, are invaluable. Um, I am, it's always my go-to for bulk canning because I can put so much in them. So, um, I am going to use these peaches in a few different projects. I am going to do peach pie filling, um, as well as canning some peach slices and some other things from there, which will be future videos for you to see. Um, but I just wanted you to see, um, what it looked like. Let me grab my spoon here. Excuse my reach. So you can see they're just beautiful peach slices. Um, and I just have them in a little bit of water with a little bit of lemon juice in it uh, to keep them from browning. Um, and as I was using the peach slicer, Josh reminded me that I should tell you guys the story of our first experience canning peaches. So I'm going to turn the camera around here so you can see me and I'll tell you a quick little story. All right. Excuse my sweaty face, it's hotter than blue blazes in here and I've been standing over a pot of boiling water for the last, <laughs> I don't know, how many hours has it been? A couple hours. Probably took us about two hours to get through all of it. Um, so Josh reminded me of the story, oh I guess I can turn this down a little bit here. So the first time we got peaches, we, <laughs> we got the cling peaches. Um, we had no idea. We had never processed peaches. Of course, we bought like 80 pounds of peaches because that's what we do. <laughs> so we get them home. Our friend Elizabeth was helping us. And the peeling part of it was a challenge to learn to get the learning curve on how long to keep them in there. So we were already struggling with that. Well, then we were trying to slice the peaches off of the stone. 
and it was rough. And I mean, there was definitely some tense moments. <laughs> so we, um, on a whim, decided to go get an apple core slicer that was similar to this. Um, and that saved our lives that night. Uh, we managed to get through the rest of the peaches. We swore we'd never do peaches again, which you can see did not last because here we are. However, we did learn the, the invaluable lesson of getting the peach pitter slicer gadget. I am not necessarily always a proponent of gadgets, but I will say in this case, especially if you're doing a lot of peaches, you can't beat this thing. Now, you know, you could certainly just slice around, twist it like I showed you, take the pit out. Here's the, the, the difference. When you do that, you still have to trim out the woody part from where the pit was attached, which is an extra step. With this, it takes that step out of it. You will occasionally hit a pit even with this. I mean, it doesn't matter. It, it, it is what it is. Um, but for the most part, you're avoiding all of that. Then what you can do is go back and use the pits, which I will show you in a future video how exactly how I treat them and what I do with them. So, Josh said, I should tell you guys the story so you know why you should go get the peach pitter slicer because it does make a difference. So, in the future, um, you are going to see a series of peach videos on different things that we're going to do with them. And then at the end, I'm going to come back, I'll do a wrap up video that will show you everything that we got out of 50 pounds of peaches and why we decided to do it. So, hope you folks enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. As always, 